everyone, it's Marissa, and today I have a really, really exciting video for you guys. So if you can't tell, I have half my face done with high-end products and the other half with drugstore products. So make sure you guys pause this video real quick, don't skip, don't cheat, and comment what side you think is what. So I'm going to be numbering this side number one and this side number two. So comment down below what side you think is which one. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the shades are a little bit off. But it's not that bad. Okay, and now I'm just going to tell you guys. <laughs> so, now that you guys have hopefully guessed, if you didn't guess, go and guess real quick. Just play my game for fun. Um, this is the high-end side, and then this is the drugstore side. So, like I said, some of the shades in here weren't exactly right. But we did find some great dupes for products. So, keep on watching if you want to find some good drugstore dupes for your favorite expensive products products. Yeah, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you guys are new here, my name is Marissa. I post two new videos a week every Monday and Thursday. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below and make sure you guys click the bell next to it so you know when I upload. Also, make sure you're following me on all my social media, which will be linked down below as well. So that way you can keep up with me when I'm not on YouTube because... That's where I normally would be. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and just get right into the video and you can see all the fun dupes we found. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are starting off. I have my hair up. I'm hoping this lens, I can stay in focus. It's really hard to stay in focus using this lens, but it's way better quality. Let me know if you guys can tell from the intro lens to this lens if you can tell a difference in the quality and what one you like better and I will try to master staying in place. Okay, so we're going to start off completely bare face. I'm so excited for this video. Like, I'm excited to try these. So we're going to start off with primer. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've actually never used this. This is new to me, not new. But yeah, so we're going to be using this on the high-end side and then this NYX primer on the drugstore side. So this is a hangover primer and then this is the skin elixir renew so they're both kind of like more hydrating I guess oh, I guess I don't need that much I'm like weirded out because I don't need as much product because it's only half my face oh this smells really good how do I do my nose okay this is really hard has done absolutely nothing and I'm like wow this is so hard you can see they're kind of like the same consistency this one might be a little bit thicker, but they feel very similar. I used to not be a believer in primer, which is crazy, because now I am. But um, I'm very big on high-end primer. Like, I don't really use drugstore primer, like foundations and stuff. I normally will try to find good drugstore. But for some reason, primers, I just am like... That's one thing I'll splurge for. Okay, next is going to be eyebrow pencil, what I'm really excited for. So for the high-end side, I'm going to be, and I'm going to have the prices, but I'm going to have the prices up. <laughs> um, I don't know the prices off the top of my head, so I will just be posting them there so you guys can see. So anyway, I'm going in with my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is a mini. I'm going to post the full-size price, though, just because. Then for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Brunette. So this is new as well, as you can tell I just bought it. But you guys already know a... Oh, shit. A freaking awesome dupe for this is the ColourPop one. I've literally went on and on and on about this before on my channel. So if you guys missed that video, the ColourPop one, it's $5. This is $5 as well. Was a really good one. And I wasn't like, well, I'm going to repurchase it because I already told you guys it was a good dupe. So I was like, let's find a new dupe. This is another thing I'm... I don't know. Like, I'm not... Brows, I feel like you can make them look good if it is, like, a cheaper product, so I'm not that worried, but, but this one is so nice because it's so freaking creamy, like, I don't even know how to describe it, like, it just literally glides right on. And this is in a shade 6, so I think it's going to be a little bit darker than this one, which is what I'm a little concerned about. Darker shades. I don't know if they just don't make darker shades. Alright, so here's what it looks like. It looks... Oh, it's very skinny. Okay. Ooh, the color is gonna scare me. Oh, God. Alright, so <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. It looks like red. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so that is the six in the Benefit, and that is the brunette in the e.l.f. It literally looks red. Okay. Oh, sis. Why does it look this color? It looks like auburn. Okay, the product itself isn't going on bad. I definitely do have to use a little bit more pressure when filling it in than I did with the Benefit. It's not as creamy. This color is really bad. And normally I use like a soft black and that's why I'm like, well, maybe it will be a little off. Like I was expecting it not to be perfect, but like this is like red. All right, starting off great. Okay, so you can tell the Benefit one matches my eyebrow way better. And these are going to look crazy because now they're going to be two different shades, but it's fine. We're going to keep going. 
So moving on to concealer. Yes, I've got another e.l.f. product. Um, so I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yes, there's literally 110 dupes out there for this. One of them that I used to use was the Makeup Revolution one. And that's again why I didn't want to use it in this video. Just because we already know that's a pretty good dupe for this. Um, so yeah, this is the new um, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer i've already heard some mixed things on this one so i'm a little nervous like the dark shades i have would be way too dark but this is looking really light so i'm a little bit nervous for that so i'm gonna use these first to just carve out my brows and then we're gonna go to foundation and then we'll come back to these so you can tell the packaging is very similar okay so that's tarte shape tape i literally have so much excess on my hands from things because i'm used to like using okay so the applicators look pretty similar color wise uh, very light. This is like my fault for like, I said, ah, it's fine. Kind of creamy. It's not really that bad. Definitely very light for me. You can see all the excess I have. And this is what I normally do. You guys know if you've seen my like normal videos, I'll take some excess and put it under my eyes and then on any blemishes or anything. Boy, I'm gonna have to blend the crap out of this. Okay, so hopefully I was in focus for most of that. Like I said, I'm like very nervous. I'm not in focus this whole time. But okay, so for foundations. I am going to be using the Hello Happy foundation by Benefit in the shade 5 for the high end side. And then for this side, I'm going to be doing the Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. So these are kind of two different foundations. This one's more of like a lighter coverage and this one's going to be more of like a full coverage. The reason I wanted to do them is because they're both kind of like a natural matte. I don't really love mattes anyway, but... This is what we're working with. This one looks a little bit darker too. Like my shades are just not matching up. So this is in 228. So we're gonna we're gonna test it out. I've actually never used this. I used whatever one they had a long time ago, but it wasn't the matte and poreless, like literally forever ago. We're gonna use this to carve out our brows first. Okay, so this one's definitely darker, which is not good, but maybe it will balance out because the concealer's lighter. Like I don't really know. Okay, so on a day-to-day -day basis, I use both these blue. I can't talk beauty blenders but for the sake of the video I'm going to be using my actual beauty blender on the high-end side and then this Juno & Co beauty blender on the drugstore side because it literally makes a world of difference what beauty blender you use like people literally will tell me why do you spend $20 on a sponge and I'm like because this is the best sponge. I do like this too as well. Like I said, I normally use both of them. But yeah, so here's the foundations. They're two literally different shades, so I'm really concerned with how this is going to show up. But it's fine. Can you tell I never buy the right shade in anything? Like literally ever. Like I just guess and then I just make it work. Brushes though, so I'm using like the right sponges, but brushes, we're just using the same brushes because we don't got time for all that. Side one is done. Oh, these are so not the same shade. Oh, Marissa, what is you doing, sis? Half my face is going to be orange. We love that. So I literally said that this side was going to have less coverage, but I feel like it has more. Do I literally look crazy? These are two completely different shades. Oh my god, what a fail. And I literally have stuff to do after this, so this is, like, not good for me. We're gonna keep going. Hopefully when it's, like, all put together, it don't look this crazy. Okay, going back to concealer. Um, Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I definitely like the look of this one better, and I almost feel like this has more coverage, which is weird because it's not supposed to. Okay, so going back to my Tarte Shape Tape, put some under our eyes, put a little more right there. And I stopped putting concealer down my nose, and I realized that my nose looks 10 times better when I don't put concealer on it. Like, why are these the shades that I got? These, it's literally white and orange. Great. Love that. So we're just going to put a little bit right there to highlight. Maybe I should have done them one by one. Hoping this will at least lighten up this orange. Ooh, I put a lot on. Okay. I won't see my dark circles today. <laughs> oh, no. That's why it looks dirty like that. It's literally eyelash glue. Well, guess what? It's not coming off. Um, but anyway, so I have the Laura Geller Universal Filter Finish Setting Powder. So it's just translucent. And it's like color correcting. It has the color correcting. Then I have this Essence Color Correcting Powder as well. So that's why I have both of them because they're kind of both color correcting. Um, and I love that Essence Powder. It is hard to find. Like, I can't ever find this anywhere, but it is amazing if you do find it. And this one is we're gonna try it out. So I just like taking it on a big fluffy brush. I actually, like my foundation routine has changed so much. I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a whole foundation routine, but I've actually stopped baking. I know. Everybody like 
shit their pants at once thanks but yeah i like haven't baked my face and it's looked better than ever so i've actually stopped baking so i'm just taking it on a big fluffy brush to set everything and put a little bit extra under my eyes Ooh, maybe i forgot i liked this but we also like her so we're gonna try her out Okay, I mean, I like both of them. Like, they're both really good powders, so I don't know that I have a favorite. Now, moving on, I'm going to be using two bases. So, I've actually never used this. I picked it up, and I didn't use it. It looks used because I just kind of tried it out. But this is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So, I'm going to be using this as my eyeshadow base for the high-end side. And then for the drugstore side, this is my collab. This is actually a concealer, but I thought that it might be the same consistency. I think this one might be stickier, which is concerning, but we're going to try her out. We're just going to look like orange on this side and like normal on this side, I guess. So yeah, here's the two shades. They look very different, so... Hmm. I was really trying to make it so you guys couldn't tell which side was what, but I'm really enjoying it. It goes on very nice, though. So we like her. And now I'm going to put on this concealer which is definitely more sticky, so only using a tiny, tiny bit because I'm concerned. Actually, both of them are feeling pretty similar, so that's good. Color-wise, different. Eyeshadow. Shout out to my sister for letting me borrow her palette, even though it's a little broken. We're not going to judge her because we stole this for the video. Um, I had a CoverGirl palette, and then I looked at my sister's, and I was like, I have to use this because it literally is the exact dupe for this. So I'm going to be using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay on the high-end side and then this is the Makeup Revolution Iconic 2 palette like literally can we just take a moment um the same exact palette would never know the difference um so I'm going to start off with this color tease it's like this mauve color mauve gray color I'm just going to put that in my crease I guess then I'm going to be taking this color which these don't have names but it's literally the same looking color and i've never tried the makeup revolution eyeshadows so i'm actually really excited my sister's literally gonna text me while she watches this and yell at me but why does the makeup revolution one look more pigmented <laughs> what why do i like that one better is that supposed to happen because i don't think okay then i'm gonna take just a little bit of this dark color over here and this is in busted literally the same color second to the end exactly the same great i'm taking just a little bit because this is kind of like a metallic -y color and I don't really like that in my crease, but we're going to use it on, like, the outer half of my lid. The Naked 2 palette literally used to be all I wore in high school. Like, this was my sheet. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just like them better. Okay, yeah, so that is all I'm going to do because I'm going to put some glitter on the front. Okay, I'm going to do this booty call color right here. Clearly used to be my fave. And I'm going to put that right here. Just because we're going to put glitter over that, so it really doesn't matter, but that way we have that nice base. We're going to use the shimmery color. Ooh, this one's a little lotto. We're back, and we're going to be using eyeliners. So I'm concerned for this one just because eyeliner is... I'm really the most picky bitch when it comes to eyeliner. Like, eyeliner is just very hard to please when it comes to me. For the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Roller Liner by Benefit. You guys know I freaking love this. And for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. My Maybelline Eye Studio one, which is a gel, but it's like... How do you compare a gel to a liquid liner? It wouldn't be a dupe, right? And I might like this more than any other eyeliner I've ever tried. So like this wins all. Go in, we're gonna do a wing. Sorry if I'm not in focus at this part because I literally have to focus on what I'm doing. All right, so we already know we like that. It's kind of feeling like it's drying out, which is really sad. I'm nervous. Looks very, ooh, it's kind of very dark. We love dark liner. This one's very wet, which I don't like because it's hard because it will run. All right, I'm liking how dark it is. I'm not liking that it's super wet. And if you look at the tip, it's less pointy than this one. Like, this one is a perfect point, and this one is not. Okay, actually not the worst ever. I think I might even like this wing better. But yeah, not bad. This one still looks darker though, even though this one went on darker. I'm gonna do a little bit of glitter. So here's the thing. So I got this glitter, which would be for the high end side. And this is going to be my Too Faced Honey Please Glitter Shadow. I love this. 
So I went and got this glitter liner because I realized it's very hard to find a glitter shadow at the drugstore. So I was like, well, let's try to do a glitter liner. So I did this glitter liner in Aloy, and this is Starlit Studio. I never heard of this. I found it at Target. These two aren't very similar in color. So I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to see if it comes off maybe a different color on my skin. And if not, I'm going to mix these two together. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> maybe two different colors. But all in all, I'm liking this as a glitter shadow. I really wish they were the same color. Um, yeah, so I just have my lashes prepped with that. And then I'm going to the extent of literally using different eyelash glue on each side because I need to prove to you guys that the House of Lashes lash glue is something else. So this is what I'm using on the high end side because you guys know I'm obsessed. And then on the other side I'm going to use this duo lash glue. It's very similar. This is what I use when I run out of this, but like it's just not the same. And here's the really fun part. I really tried to find a dupe for the Miami lashes in Lily Lash and I got these. And like from far away they look alright, but like I don't know about these. They were literally a dollar for the entire pack of them and they look a little crazy. And I'm going to try that thing that went around on Twitter a long time ago to make them look more fluffy like the Lily Lashes where you like take a spoolie and you just like kind of fluff them up yourself and like go upwards and stuff to try to fluff them. It might be alright. If these are alright, these were a freaking dollar. Alright, put my duo lash glue on. Wait, what? I was really expecting this to be the worst. I'm really shook. I'm the last person that thought this was going to be alright. They're a little uncomfortable, but like they look alright. Okay, well now I'm gonna put the Lily Lash on my other eye. Okay, so lashes are on and honestly, they don't look that much different. Like, I'm kind of, like, definitely from the side, you can tell these are way fluffier. I can feel a difference on my eye. Like, these ones are kind of pinching every time I blink right here. And these ones feel like nothing. Um, but, yeah, you can see from the side these aren't as fluffy or anything. But, like, for the price difference, for $29 cheaper, I'm kind of here for these. So, I'm going to be taking the new Benefit hula caramel in this palette so i'm just going to be adding like the price of if you were just to get the hula caramel because it's not really fair to like count the whole entire palette versus the um, morphe bronzer in do button i can't read i'm literally illiterate these are so close in color um i've only swatched this you can see but i haven't actually worn it yet so i'm really excited the hula caramel has been one of my new favorites okay that was just my chair Ooh, I kind of put a lot on. Whoopsie. So that's that. And now we're going to go in. I'm a little nervous. Oh. This one might be a little bit warmer, but like, what? I kind of really love this. And it's blending so nice. Right, and next for blush, I'm going to be using, again, I'm just going to be adding it with the price of one because this is a full palette. And this is the Tarte Clutch Palette. And I'm using the Tarte Blush in Flamingo. I love Tarte's blushes. They are literally so good. And then I'm using my famous, you guys know I love this, the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. This is an amazing blush, but both of these are almost like, have like purpley undertones to them. This one looks like it might be just a hint darker. But I love this type of shade. I always thought I would never love this type of shade, but I really do. Like, it's perfect for every day. So this is the Flamingo by Tarte. It just adds, like, a little rosy touch. Okay, great. We're finally finding colors that are the same now instead of completely different. Okay, next is going to be highlighter. So I'm going to be using the Becca. Again, this is in a palette. I don't know why I have so many palettes. Like, I just have an issue. The Becca Prosecco Pop um, highlighter. This is in the old Jaclyn Hill palette. This, like, limited edition. They don't even have this. But they sell this separately, so don't worry. Is the Wet n Wild highlighter. And this is in Golden Flower. So they're very similar in color. Certain areas. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to go in with this one. Like, this is just, like, the most beaming highlight that I found from the drugstore ever. And then, like always, I take my beauty blender and just kind of smooth it into my skin so you don't see all those pores. We're actually looking more similar. Like, a little bit the colors, like I said. 
my eyebrow colors are different and the eyeshadow colors are different, but we're starting to really look similar. It looked better in different lighting, but now I'm a little worried. Um, so this is the NYX Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt, and then I'm going to be using my Smashbox um, stepping out that I always use. So these might be a little bit different. Okay, lipstick is a freaking fail. These are two completely different colors, so... I'm going to just put stepping out all over because that was a fail. Okay, guys, and that is the entire video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, as you can see from far away, they look pretty similar, a little different, but kind of similar, but a little different at the same time. Um, but all in all, I think it turned out okay. I think it was just the shades are kind of messed up. Skin-wise, like the foundation and stuff, I'm kind of liking this, which is the Fit Me, which is surprising because I'm not really an avid, like, matte skincare type of person, but I kind of like it. And the color was way off, and the concealer was way off, but I just am kind of digging it. It looks very smooth. Yeah, eyeshadow, probably. I like the glitter and stuff of this. Um, eyeliner, definitely the roller liner. This one is already, like, gray turning, which I don't like. And the color of my brow is a little bit off, but... Like I said, all in all, I don't think it was too bad. So let me know what you guys thought of the video and what you guys want to see in my next video next Monday or Thursday. Peace out.